It's the final goodbye here, guys. The best pad set to have ever been made. Patrick Roy's 1994 Coho Revolution pads. Let's dive right in before we say goodbye to these pads. Maybe forever. Maybe I'll see them again. Who knows? Game worn, 1994 season, Patrick Roy Coho Revolution pads. The best memories that I had growing up watching Patrick Roy. Let's go. Alright, so let's take a look at these pads up close and personal before they head out to their new owners. These pads have been photo matched so many times. And it was a super easy photo match. Here's what came from uh, Game War Auctions before 1994 from the John Shipman collection. So John Shipman, he was a uh, he was a coach, I think an assistant coach with the Montreal Canadiens from 88 to 97. That's pretty long. A decade almost. And he had these pads uh, sold via auctions on Game Ward Auctions, which is where we scored the pads. So it comes with all these documentation from John Shipman. Autograph sign here, letter of authenticity by John Shipman. But we didn't really need the letter of authenticity. It's a nice touch, but there has been so many photo matches of Patrick, like iconic pictures against the Nordique here. You see this puck mark on the K? One of the easiest matches ever with that. Look at this one here from Getty Images. Puck mark on the K twice. Boom. Right there. You see that? So easy. If only it's always this easy. And then this mark here on that pad, on the left pad, made it so easy to photo match. So Roy had two sets of the Coho Revolution. One in the 93 season that he won the cup with, which is not this one. And then this is the following season he wore these. And this photo match here, pretty easy as well. The Revolution is rubbed off from game wear. And you see here how it is. This is some old school pictures, man. It was not HD, but it was easy to match. He had this on so many uh, cards and whatnot. Look at how black that mark was on this pad before. And now with time, 94, like we're in 2024 now. This is 20 years later, two decades later. So these pads were in our collection for a while. But I think it's time that we hand them off to the next collector. It's all about sharing and caring for Patrick Roy stuff. Ever since I lost my goalie mask, my Roy practice worn mask, it's not been the same. LOL. These pads are going to make somebody else very happy right now. So let's take a look. Custom made for Patrick Roy. Coho Revolution. I've had my fun with them. I slept on them. I use them as a pillow here and there. We got our COA there. Let's take off this. Oh yeah, so while we were looking at the flaps, we discovered two of the biggest Patrick Roy autographs I've ever seen in my life. This is my hand, all right? The autograph itself is bigger than my entire hand span. It says to my body which this is how quebecer makes uh, a spelling mistake to my buddy but they spell it body often lol to my body sl I'm not sure who slp is but he gave it to this person named slp and i'm guessing this person gave it to john shipman unless he calls shipman slp i don't know i don't know what happened here but look at this autograph Patrick, the connected, I don't know what that is. 
Patrick Roy. I've never seen the R spelled out like this. I've never seen the 33 in a circle. Ever. So freaking cool. Look at all the leather straps. They're all worn out. There's some pad porn right here, guys. Lots of LOL from me this morning. I'm joking if you got offended with pad porn. That's what it is. Oh man, look at this, how worn out it is. It's like all rusty. Dirty there. It's like a felt material and leather down here. I'm sure if you start photo matching these, you're gonna match a lot of the revolution as well, but there's no, really no need. It's already been photo matched so many times. And you see these marks here, makes it easy to photo match. Good old leather straps. The word Coho Revolution, Fabrique au Canada, made in Canada. This one is red and white. And the previous one that he had for the season before were, uh, I believe, tricolor with some blue in there, which made it easier to photo match as well. Let's look at the left pad. There was some repairs done here. You see this flap here? Looks like it was glued on. And it goes all the way down to here. It has to be glue because I don't see any uh, stitch marks, but I see some brown like resin. Very worn pads. The famous black mark there on the left pad that made it the easiest to photo match from all the saves that he's done. And it's all like white out. There's some white powder on it. I wonder why that is. I don't know if it's from the ice drying on the pads or just with time. So you see here, it lost some of its color dye. Wow, look at all the strings in here, man. There's some intricate pad fixing. It's like, it looks like he opened this up, took out some padding, and then had some trainers restitch it. I wonder if John Shipman was the one that did it. We should reach out to Mr. Shipman and ask him. So you got a strap here, some puck marks here, some dirty marks. I don't know how he got a puck mark here on the side. Stick mark. And guess what? Another huge surprise here. Boom! An even bigger autograph. No spelling mistake of body. No surrounding of the 33. Very unusual, huh? Two autographs, probably signed at the same time, but different autographs. It's however the artist feels like at the moment. And look at this one. Look at how big it is. It's like literally two times my hand span. You see this? Incredible autograph. Just that alone, man, is worth the price of the ticket. It's worth the entrance right there. You got another patch on the side here, the same as the one in the front. Coho Revolution, Fabriqueo Canada, made in Canada. If anybody is wondering how much these pads sold for, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna reveal it, but let's just say, uh, you could drive away with a mid-size SUV if you wanted to, or you could own the pads. It's up to you. Cars are so boring. Pads is where it's at, man. And that's not it. We had to win. These were auctioned separately. We had to win this separately. The glove set. Fucking auction house that separated them. That was blasphemy. There was no way I was letting the pad set get split up. So this puck mark here, these two puck marks made it so easy to photo match. Coho Revolution right here. Oh, you hear, you see the logo here? So I wonder if this is from the year prior. 
Coho Revolution, the tr tricolor patch, as opposed to here that it's the bicolor patch. Let's see the wear and tear on this blocker. No holes, he's still good. Very dirty. It's starting to rip a little bit here. Coho. Nice zipper. Nice curve. I like that the curve stuck. So he really curved his blocker a lot. You see that? Makes like an L shape. RCOA in there, a well hidden. Oh, you got the other patch I was talking about. So I wonder if this blocker here was worn in 1993, 94, or 92, 93, where they won the cup. And then he changed all this, but kept the blocker. Maybe this is a cup winning blocker. Let's go back and try to photo match. But the deal is done. If it was a Stanley Cup winning blocker, the price would have increased. But it's okay. I'll let the next owner decide on the new pricing they are no longer our property let's look at this beautiful mitt glove say bitch this glove is worn out look at all the sweat stains in here man Coho Revolution. Like, I've watched this mitt so many times on TV and drawn it so many times. A nice, cool little red triangle design here. Let's put it on just for the sake of the video. Oh, heart mitt. Oh, pause this. Okay, it's on. The mitt is on. Left hand. Glove save. Coho Revolution patch there. The strings are not there anymore to keep it together. Look at all this detail, man. And this is a messed up the glove, it's seen a lot of action. You got the Velcro straps there in the inside. Hard mitt, hardened. My palm is tired just doing this. Go safe. And it also, this whole kit comes with a stick as well a game you stick let's just take this out and take a look at that and this is all going to the new owner so congratulations to the new owner what an amazing score so you see how what did his knob there let me switch back on this side Double tape, red and beige. Coho Revolution, the full matching kit. Tricolor logo there. Lots of action on the tape. Let's see where we can see his name stamp. Right here. P. I'm guessing the date is hidden somewhere underneath the tape. And he wrote something here. What did he write? Um. Bateau. He wrote man boat. Whatever that means. Man boat. Must be a personal joke to somebody when he gave away the stick. So there you guys got it. The famous Patrick Roy, Patrick Roy 1994 game 
Use game worn pad set. The most beautiful pad set that I've ever seen. We're keeping this one on Patty. This one goes to the new owner. A huge acquisition and thank you to the new owner for making this purchase. We've had our fun with it. The game-worn world is about sharing and caring, so enjoy, my friend. Cheers.